All right, this video is going to walk you through how to do simple interest. And what it is, is Isadora's parents set aside some money uh, when she was born, and then it earned this kind of amount of money each year. And when she was 12, or 12 years later of the investment, the total grew to $4,000. The first question just asks, what did she start with? Now, before you do that, you need to know the simple interest formula. The simple interest formula says your total investment equals your principal plus your principal times the rate times the time. Understanding how this formula is put together is that this little chunk right here is the amount that she earns on top of what she starts with. So we need to figure out this part first. It says that she earns $125 each year for 12 years. So I need to take um, my initial, initial or my, my amount that I'm earning times 12 first. So 125 times 12 is or $1,500. Plus what she started with, that total investment then that you see right here, is $4,000. You get that from the word problem right there. Next, if I solve this for uh, P, I'm gonna subtract 1,500 from each side, and then I get a total investment starting at $2,500. That's your answer to the first part of this question. So I'll write that down here first. You got $2,500 for the initial amount that was set aside when the investment started. All right, next, the next part of the question is asking, well, what interest rate was it invested at? Well, now that I know the, the uh, principal, I know the time, I've got principal time, I can fill in all these numbers, and I know the I, I can go back to my formula and then fill it in this way. So my, inv my investment total is $4,000, my principal is $2,500, again $2,500, the R I'm going to leave where it is, and then the T is 12 years. To solve this equation, we should best off uh, multiply these together first to get 30,000 R. Then from there, I'll solve this equation for R by subtracting $2,500 to both sides, that gives you a $1,500. And then finally, I'll divide by 30,000 to both sides. And then what that decimal comes out to is 0 0.05. Now that's the decimal of the percent, but then if it asks what's the simple interest percent, well, that interest percent then is going to be 5%, uh, because you move the decimal place here over two places to the right to change it back to a percent. So the final answer to this last part, or part two, is just writing it as a percent. So that's going to be 5%. And that's it. Hopefully that information helps, and good luck in your question as well.